Man must rise above the earth, to the top of the atmosphere and beyond, for only thus will he fully understand the world in which he lives. To release the same amount of energy by nuclear fusion as that released by the previous explosion, we would only need to fuse 365 nanograms of hydrogen. If our nucleus was the size of a marble, Our electron will be the size of a single grain of sand over a kilometre away from our nucleus. The strong nuclear force acts between nucleons with a range of 10 to the minus 15 metres. Well, what is nuclear fusion? Nuclear fusion is a process where light atomic nuclei bind together to form heavier nuclei, releasing energy. And this process only occurs naturally in places like our sun, where gravity generates immense pressures and temperatures, which gives particles like protons enough kinetic energy to overcome the electrostatic repulsion between them until they get close enough, whereby the strong nuclear force takes over and binds the nucleons together. Our sun is made of 75% hydrogen, 20% helium and the rest heavier elements. Positrons and neutrinos are also found in the sun since they are products of nuclear fusion. The first stage of nuclear fusion involves the collision of two hydrogen nuclei. One of these protons then undergoes beta plus decay to form a neutron, a positron and a neutrino of which the latter two are emitted from the nucleus. Deuterium has now been formed, an isotope of hydrogen which then collides with another proton to form an isotope of helium and emission of gamma rays. This nucleus then fuses with another helium-3 nucleus to form helium-4, along with the emission of two protons from the nucleus. The physics at the centre of all this can be considered using the most well-known equation in the whole of the history of science. E equals m c squared, Einstein's mass-energy relationship. Here's our equation for nuclear fusion. And if we weigh our products and reactants, we find there's a mass defect where this mass has been converted directly into energy. So here, we subtract our initial mass of four hydrogen nuclei from our final mass of a helium nucleus and two positrons. We don't need to include the mass of a neutrino because those are negligible compared to the whole mass. So what we come out with is this value here. It's a small mass but when we multiply it by the speed of light squared, it shows us how much energy we release in nuclear fusion. Now since the speed of light squared is such a big number, we only need to uh, fuse a small amount of mass to release a large amount of energy. And it is equivalent to 29.14 mega electron volts. Without nuclear fusion, the stars would not shine. Life on Earth would not even exist. Nor the great minds who seek to understand it.